Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the autopilot uh, 2.0, 2.5 and 3.0 and uh, there has been a lot of discussion on the forums and a lot of confusions on people who want to buy 2016 and up Model S and uh, they're confused about you know, if they're eligible for the hardware 3 upgrade, uh, what cameras comes with the car, you know, what exactly does it do, does it record and this and that, you know. It's a lot of confusion. So I'm going to try to cover all that in this video. I'm also going to be showing you guys the actual footage from the Autopilot 2.0. Uh, not really 2.0, but the Autopilot 2.5 and 3.0. The Autopilot 2.0 does not record or anything. Uh, so I'm going to be going a little bit in detail covering all the aspects. So let me walk around the car. Uh, if you are planning on buying a 2016 and up, you know, there are certain models in 2016, but 17 and up, you know, they all got the cameras all around the car. So starting with the cameras, you know, so you're going to see the camera right here. You're also going to see the camera right over here. There's a camera on the back. There's a camera on the side again. And then, of course, this camera. And then there's a camera right up front. So this is the dash cam, you can call it. And if you're looking to buy uh, 2016 and up. There are certain models into 2016. You may want to find out if it has autopilot 2.0 or higher. Um, most likely you're going to have these cameras installed. So this is the hardware. So um, of course in the newer car with the autopilot 2.5 and above that car comes with the 2.5 and above will have better cameras. So all around the car, anything lower than 2.5 autopilot Minimum 2.0 does have cameras, but their their cameras are not as, per se, upgraded as 2.5 and above uh, or 3.0. So, again, they're not bad cameras. I'm going to be showing you guys footage next to each other so you guys can compare and see the results. Because I had uh, the opportunity to record from a 2.5 hardware uh, and also a 3.0 hardware. So... So on this car, I have Autopilot 3.0 and uh, the cameras I had, because I used to have Autopilot 2.0, they upgraded me to 3.0, so I kind of bypassed the 2.5 in the middle. Uh, most of the cars at certain point uh, in 2017 and above came with Autopilot 2.5. Even in 2018, they had 2.5. So those had the upgraded cameras. And uh, if you have full self-driving, Again, guys, only if you have full self-driving that you have purchased in the past, they will upgrade your cam the, the system, the uh, autopilot system for free to, to 3.0. So you can basically make an appointment with Tesla and tell them, hey, you want to upgrade your autopilot hardware to 3.0. So as long as you have a 2.0 or 2.5, they will upgrade to 3.0 for free. No charge to you. Only if you have self full self-driving. So I got my hardware upgraded. And, uh, of course, my cameras are, I did the recording with my cameras before when I had Autopilot 2.0. My sentry mode was active, but it was not recording. So, again, if you own a car with Autopilot 2.0, you will have these cameras and you will see the sentry mode go on. But it will not record anything. Even if you put a thumb drive in there, format it and things like that, it's not going to record, guys. You know, it's not going to record any dash cam videos, nothing at all. So if you have a car with, which does not have full self-driving and you have Autopilot 2.0, there's nothing you can do about it. We cannot record, period. Now, if you, have a, if you don't have full self-driving and if you have an Autopilot 2.5, yes, your sentry mode will record and uh, you won't need that upgraded 3.0 hardware. So my car never used to record before. I just got the upgraded Autopilot 3.0 hardware and it does record now, which is a great news for me. So um, I had a loaner which had Autopilot 2.5 with no full self driving. I tried the Sentry mode and it was recording. So I was doing a great job recording. And when I caught my car back, uh, I tested out the Sentry mode again with the formatted drive. Um, I'll leave a 
link in the description below how to format the prop drive properly so you can capture your uh, recordings. So I plugged that in in my car after the upgrade and guess what? It was recording everything. Um, the front cameras, the side cameras, the only thing it does not record is the rear camera. So that's the catch. In the version autopilot 2.5 with the newer cameras, there's something in the heart, in the software I think which enables the rear camera recording. But in, in this particular case, if you upgrade your hardware to hardware 3.0 and you still have the older 2.0 meaning cameras for some reason the rear does not record so that's the only thing in my car does not record is the rear view but of course your rear view camera is there when you back it up you know you'll see it and all that stuff you know so not a big deal for me as long as i'm capturing the recording from the front and the side so so right now i have the dash cam that it records and of course I have the sentry mode so now when my sentry mode is active and somebody try to peek into the car it's going to trigger the recording and it's going to start recording so that's a good safety feature that I have on my car so let me go ahead and uh, show you guys uh, what the different clips look like with hardware 2.5 and recording and hardware 3.0 and recording now remember uh, one thing I do want to mention is it depends on your MCU what type of MCU do you have so in my car, I have hardware 3.0, but my MCU is MCU 1. The loaner that I had was uh, MCU 2, and it was a hardware 2.5 autopilot. So let's go ahead and take a look at the video clips. So this view that you're seeing is a passenger side view from the loaner vehicle that I had, which had uh, autopilot 2.5 and MCU 2. So here you can see uh, the coloring and the actual quality of the video over here. You know, uh, of course, it's not the 1080p high definition version, whatever. I, I'm not sure exactly what the uh, uh, quality of the image is, you know, but it's, it's decent. You know, at least it's uh, something that's recording. Um, I did uh, view some of the camera footage, you know, while it drives, you know, and uh, not much of a difference, you know. And uh, I'll show you the exact same view uh from the from my actual car so let's go ahead and take a look at that so this is the view from my car which has autopilot 3.0 but it has mcu1 uh and uh to me uh, this one looks more brighter you know uh not much color as it had on the previous one but the previous one was a little bit darker this one i'm seeing more light uh you know and uh the image quality is pretty much the same so um i i, I I don't want to complain too much about this you know I think I'm happy with this okay so this is the front view of the autopilot 2.5 with the MCU 2 this is the loner uh, that I had um, and you can see the color and the lightning on this particular one from the front side you know at the very bottom you can see uh, I'm not exactly sure if it's the camera was misaligned or what but I'm seeing this uh, we'll see how it looks like on my car so you know again i think it's pretty much the same quality as you see from the side camera so let's take a look at the one in uh, my car with the autopilot 3.0 let's take a look at that so this is the front view of the autopilot 3.0 with mcu1 on my car and you can see the the coloring is of course not not the best you know um on the side i wasn't complaining too much you know but the the front it's it's okay you know it's not too much coloring uh the actual footage you know when you're driving the car you don't see it too much you know but uh, i think it looks uh, better uh, when driving so this is the right side camera which is the driver side camera uh this is on the loaner car i had autopilot 2.5 with mcu2 and uh, even over here you can see the colors are a little bit better the picture quality is a little bit darker uh, so the lightning is an issue I'm not sure how it looks like at night time you know but uh, that might be an issue so let's take a look at the exact same view on my car uh, with ha which has uh, autopilot 2.5 and MCU1 so this is from my car with autopilot 3.0 and MCU1 and this is the driver's side exact same view as you saw on the loaner car and you can see it's more brighter you know the coloring is not the best you know but uh i think overall i'm satisfied you know so this kind of completes the comparison of uh, different cameras on autopilot 2.5 and 3.0 with different mcus uh and uh even if you get your car upgraded uh to mcu2 you're not going to get the 
proper color grading on this camera because uh, they don't change the uh, cameras you know even if you get the hardware 3 upgraded they're not going to change the or upgrade the camera so again uh, I think we'll see when the full auto autonomous driving is a uh, release you know how the whole com combination works so guys uh, hopefully you like the video with the comparison if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you Thank you.